I've come back to uh, Capitol House just to do a few, to say, record a few words on the exhibition which is now on display there. And it says it's the exhibition for home. And it says it's the, got these. I'll just read what it says for people who cannot see what it says. The exhibition explores the lived, the lived experience of Poles, Portuguese, and Romanians who call Jersey home. These being three of the most populous nationality groups to have settled in the island. That's a, quite a long explanation. Here's gives the names of the artists. So they came here, did their research, went away and came back with this. And it says at the bottom, we hope that you enjoy the exhibition and it sparks conversations about what it means to call a place home. Now that's a very interesting project. And they've got it written in Portuguese, Polish, and Romanian, so everybody understands. So, there's a little bit of explanation about things, what goes on. This little notice here. Now, I, I can't really pick it up, but it's high value residency. And it's by Dana. Alarescu, who's the Romanian artist. And it starts off, the root of most antagonism towards otherness is fear, including towards migrants. This can result in a lack of empathy, which limits understanding of the complex reasons why people uproot their lives and migrate to other countries. Well, of course, Romania has had its difficulties with political differences and people like Ceausescu, we all remember him. So obviously they got to try and lots of people would have wanted to leave the country as a result of that. And politically now, I know very little about Romania, but trying to understand this exhibition is a bit difficult because one of my complaints, and I'm afraid I am going to have complaints, is you've got this, these artworks, these notices, which are five foot six above the floor level. In other words, like my, the eye line to there. And they're printed in very purple, dark ink on black paper, not very large. I find them very difficult to read. No, I wear spectacles, but I have reasonable eyesight. And uh, if that's, as a standard of presentation, trying to get a message across, I'm disappointed with that. The, the, the one, <laughs> funny enough, like having an eye test at the optician, the larger print is at the lower level. I would have thought they could have put the posters, the stickers, at a, at a lower level. I would have thought. So to get there, so you can read that. I mean, it comes up quite well on my camera by the look of it. So you've got these messages on the wall. And uh, as you walk round, there's this one. This is also by Dana, similar sort of thing. I can't, I, I can't read them. If you want to find out what they say, you'll have to come here and read them for yourselves. But I'm not sure, you see, the message I'm getting, for me, these sentiments that are being expressed here are nothing new. I've lived here since the 1960s, and I've been aware of the raw deal that lots of immigrants get. And bear in mind, I'm from the United Kingdom, I'm British, I had to experience all these same things as well. It isn't just Romanians, Portuguese, and Polish who have to deal with all this. Everybody who came here then, or to some extent now, has to do their 20 years or whatever it is, 10 years now, five years for work, 10 years to get accommodation. This is quite common. 
So you, this is normal, that is what the law says, and still says. Now, again, there's this on the floor, which would be accessible to wheelchair users. I'm pleased to see that. Uh, the print's quite good, the print's quite clear. It says, this is square one, that's what it says. Immigrants' favorite game. Immerse yourself in their island reality by following the arrows on the squares. Don't skip any or you'll be sent to Guernsey. Which of course, I mean, traditionally there is rivalry between Jersey and Guernsey. But it's quite an amusing thing. Uh, but it's, it's got a serious intent. There's an obviously a recognition that things are not always maybe quite as fair as they should be. You see, there's our jobs. Average working hours per week for immigrants in their first five years is 65. What's your limit? Days off are overrated. The work life is balanced, so it's for the lazy. You came here because you were hungry for change. Now the price is proving that you're capable, reliable, and above all, available. So, if you put this exhibition somewhere in England, people would be say with that, Jersey is a wonderful place, isn't it? It's a holiday island. Everybody has a wonderful time. They've got all these rich immigrants. There can't be any difficulty. There can't be any poverty. Wouldn't they? It would come as a surprise. But the organisers tell me it does come to a surprise amongst Jersey residents. They claim that they weren't aware of it. Now, if that's having, if people are coming to see it and weren't aware of it, I'm extremely surprised. But I've been campaigning since the 1960s. And it amazes me how many people come out and say, say, are you the Mike Dunn who writes in the JEP? Well, I haven't written to the JEP for 25 years, but they still remember my letters. Letters of complaint, sometimes praise, not always. It's not always a moaning Minnie or a moaning Michael. But I do find this, I mean, no kids, no pets, no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. Of course, that's a bit of folklore. I've never seen such a notice in Jersey. It was said about not to, it was said to be common in the United Kingdom, but um, it's disputed. There have been no, there have been posters like that. I have no doubt, and people were looking for somewhere to live. But it's not a general. I mean, the law takes care of that because the law says if you've only been here five years, you you can now take a job, but you can't choose your own residence. You have to live as a lodger or some other means. So, uh, it used to be 20 years. I'm from the UK, it took me 20 years to qualify to get my uh, status. So I can now live in a, a state's flat, or Andean flat as they now called. You see, see these? I'm afraid, the front, I've already commented, I'm meeting the architect down here, to look at the access, I don't, I'm not very really happy to the access to the building. But I was very surprised that the access to the, the exhibition itself is a bit missing in some degrees. There's a plastic screen here dividing off this little room. And it's from a Portuguese origin. So this is the Portuguese origin. Often, artist Cliff Andrade and again it's material stuck on the wall but the souvenir a childhood voluntarily remembered such like that it is a collage made of presents rather than a remaking of the past as in the album of photographs well of course there's a bit of a a nostalgia obsession going on in Jersey and other places. People saying, oh, what were they doing in the 1970s or the 80s? And things remembered, which is, applies to everybody. 
especially to people who've lived here a long time. And obviously people are frightened because there are lots of things that are frightening going on in the world. And people are retreating, looking at the past. So, that's a nice landscape. There are pictures of. Now we've got a commentary in this room, coming here from the Mr. Anstrad, I suppose, talking his talking to explain his experience, which is very good if you have if you pick it up. It doesn't say it doesn't quite click clear when it starts. Probably doesn't matter when it starts. So these pictures on the wall, the big ones are constantly changing. Of course, this is the beauty of the island. It is a beautiful island. But to whose credit is that? Now that cliff wasn't man-made. It's nature-made. So we see what he says here, if you can get it on the camera. An amalgamation of my interpretations of various conversations had with individuals of Madeiran identity, whilst in Jersey. It represents no one individual, Zeus. This is obrigado, it's my only word of Portuguese that I've learned after living here for 60 years. Now this, his title of his little display here, between two islands. The Portuguese are now the second largest migrant community on Jersey. Well, I don't know how that compares with people from the United Kingdom who are also immigrants here. I don't know how many people from the UK there are here. As I say, have to go through the same process of getting their qualifications and living in digs and uh, all that sort of thing and the work exploitation. Well, I'm now entering what might be described as the Polish Salon. And it's a room for installations. And the artist is Natalia Kaliki. Now, my back is beginning to ache now, so I'm probably falling about. I can't read out all these notices. You'll have to come and read them for yourselves. It's on for a couple more weeks, I think, the exhibition. I'm going to sit in this comfy armchair just to relieve my back for a moment. Because that's another problem associated with exhibitions the world over. It's they are painful for lots of people to watch, to look at them. You only suddenly discover back aches which are okay, but now but they sort of produce them, backaches. There's some quite interesting drawings here. A bit dark, we wonder what's going on. There's a little vegetable shop there, which I used to buy, I don't know if it's open now, but it was a vegetable shop, which uh, organic veg shop, picture of. Aspects of life in Jersey, now I don't know because obviously there was in Poland, there was a very organic sort of agricultural industry. You know, horses and carts were you. Whether that's still the truth, I do not know. I've got no idea. I've never been to Poland. And the background is bread. They've got, they had or have several bakeries in Jersey. And uh, they produce their own bread, of course which is very nice, some of it. I, I'm not going to go in too close to these pictures because I say I'm having a few aches and pains which make it difficult. But there are leaflets, I'll just get up to see these leaflets which are available here, this one here, Jersey Cooks. I've got a copy, I haven't read it yet. I'll see what they say. But I think it's the Polish contribution. And to a large extent, it's about food. Which, of course, food has suddenly become a big issue here because Jersey farming is, in my opinion, on its last legs. It won't last much longer. Now, there was a scheme some years ago to grow Polish uh, Jersey royal potatoes in Poland because they had the land and they had the labor. So people were thinking, what's the point of bringing Polish workers all the way across to Jersey to grow potatoes, which they could grow themselves? Anyway, the regulations didn't allow that because you couldn't call it a Jersey royal potato if it was grown in Poland. So 
that had to be knocked on the head, that didn't progress. And of course now, since settled status was brought in, the door has been sort of closed on people from these three countries. What will happen as it develops, I do not know. But Romanians, Portuguese and Polish people will find it more difficult to come and work here, they'll have to have work permits and all the rest of it. Now, of course, that doesn't apply in the same way for people from the United Kingdom. If they want to come and live here, they can, but they're subject to housing and work controls just the same. So how it's all going to work out, I do not know. There is an election on at the moment, general election, Jersey general election, and these sort of issues are being much discussed and they go from one extreme to the other. There's quite a lobby of people here say yeah, they should all be banned, immigrants should be banned, we, don't, we should only select a few that we absolutely desperately need. And there are a few people who say, remove all controls. If people want to come here, they should be free to come here. If they can get a job, they should be welcome. And there is a desperate shortage of people to work in certain sectors. So that's all I'm gonna say, I'm a bit disappointed. I think this exhibition, I don't know if it's going to go anywhere else. I think it would have much more impact numerically if it, took, if it was in the United Kingdom, if it was shown in the United Kingdom. I noticed that I attended a, a sort of a presentation by one of the parties the other night, and Sir Philip Bash spoke. He, he said to one of the people who was speaking from the audience, you are too English in his views. Now I thought, that was rather significant. That there is this Jersey identity, which many people here have, that there is something different about being from Jersey than there is about being from somewhere else. So my perception is probably different from what the artists here have picked up. I have done an interview with the Romanian artist, which I posted a few weeks ago, but I will post it again to go with this commentary. I gave her material, videos I've done over the years, and now I've seen what she's done with it here. I've no complaints about what she's done with it, but I'm not sure if this is the right venue for it. I don't think Jersey people have been exposed to this information for a very long time. And I don't think they, I don't think they're minded to change their rules and regulations just yet.